This innocent problem breaks the internet. Half the people say one, the other half get a completely different answer. So who's right? Let's find out. All right, first step, we need to evaluate those exponents before we do anything else. That's just how the order of operations works. Looking at this expression, we've got two different powers to deal with, three to the power of zero and three cubed. Now, any non-zero number raised to the power of zero is always one. And three cubed, well, that's just three times three times three, which gives us 27. So we get one divided by 27, divided by one, divided by 27. Looks simple enough, right? But here's where things get interesting. Before we solve this correctly, let me show you the mistake that almost everyone makes. It's completely intuitive, it feels natural, but it's wrong. And understanding why it's wrong is the key to this whole problem. When you look at this expression, your brain immediately notices the symmetry. There are two identical chunks here, each saying 1 divided by 27. So the tempting thought is, why not just evaluate each of these pairs separately and then divide one result by the other? Well, 1 divided by 27 gives us the fraction 1 over 27. So we'd have 1 27th divided by 1 27th. Now, when we divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal. So this becomes 1 over 27 times 27 over 1. The 27s cancel out perfectly, leaving us with 1. Clean, simple, symmetric. But it's completely wrong. The issue here is that division doesn't have the associative property. You can't just regroup divisions however you want the way you can with addition or multiplication. So here's the rule that saves us. When you have multiple operations of the same priority, like a chain of divisions, you must evaluate them strictly from left to right, no exceptions. Let's go back to our simplified expression and do this the right way. Starting from the left, we take the very first operation, 1 divided by 27. That gives us 1 over 27, and now our expression looks like this. Moving to the next operation, we divide this by 1, which obviously doesn't change anything. So we're left with one final division. 1 over 27 divided by 27. Now, when dividing by a whole number, we can rewrite this using the keep change flip method. We keep the first fraction, change division to multiplication, and flip the 27 to get 1 over 27. Multiply across the top and bottom, and we get 1 over 729. So what's the lesson here? The difference between 1 and 1 over 729 comes down to a single principle. Division isn't associative. You can't regroup it. When you have multiple operations of the same priority, left to right isn't just a suggestion. It's the rule. And this problem shows exactly why that matters. If you enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button and subscribe for more mathematical insights. See you in the next one.